Greetings, friends. David Marks here with a new Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Classic lesson. Today, I want to show you a plugin that gives us the ability to sync smart collections over to Lightroom Mobile. This one is pretty clever, but it takes some setup. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the whole process. Let me jump into my Lightroom Classic catalog so I can show you what Jeffrey Friedel's Smart Collection Sync plugin is all about. Let me refresh your memory of how Sync with Mobile works in Lightroom Classic. Now, I have a much longer tutorial on this topic, so I'm going to skip over all of the background stuff in here today. Also, I'm going to skip over any explanation of how collections, collection sets, or smart collections work in Lightroom Classic. If these tools are new to you, then please watch my in-depth videos on how these features work before proceeding. Anyway, as you know, Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Classic can sync a copy of your images with your mobile devices. To send a copy of your photos over to your mobile devices, you must first add the images that you want into a traditional drag and drop style collection. It's this tiny little marker here, this tiny switch on the far right side of the collection panel that matters the most. Clicking this switch on or off enables or disables sync with Lightroom Mobile for all of the images in this collection. Until now, we've never been able to use smart collections with Lightroom for mobile. Let me demo. In my workflow, I like to mark my absolute favorite images with a five star rating. And then I like to have Lightroom gather these files up for me. To do this, I'm gonna click on the little plus sign here at the top of the collections panel, and then on the create smart collections option. In here, I'll name this one five star images, I'm not going to worry about putting this smart collection inside of a collection set for now. And then I'm going to click here to set the rating to five stars. I'll hit create and just like that, it gathers up these 10 photos. So now let's say that I want to sync these 10 images with Lightroom Mobile. And here's where things have failed us for years because smart collections and collection sets cannot officially be synced with Lightroom Mobile. It's this limitation that Jeffrey Friedel's new Smart Sync Collection plugin helps us avoid. So now let's talk about how to get this plugin and how to set things up. To get the plugin that we need for this tutorial, I'm going to open up a web browser and go to Jeffrey Friedel's website, which is regx, R E G E X dot info. Next, I'm going to click on the Lightroom button right here. And then I'm going to look way down on this list until I find this new Smart Collection Sync choice. Clicking this link will bring me to this page. The important part is this button right up here at the top that says Latest Download. I'll click on this one, and now my web browser will begin to download a copy of the files that we're going to need for the next part of this tutorial. Once the download completes, I can close my web browser, and then I can hop over to my computer's downloads folder. As you can see, our plugin is here, but right now it's encased inside of a zip container. Before I can install this extra code into Lightroom Classic, I need to uncompress it. On a Mac, all that you have to do is double click on a file like this and it will unzip. On a PC, you can do the same thing with a right click and the extract all command. At this point, there should be two almost identical icons in front of you. The one that says .zip, we can trash. It's this one, the one that looks like a little Lego cube on a Mac or a folder on a PC that we need to keep. This one, the one without the .zip container extension is the actual plugin. Now, I could leave this plugin right here in my downloads folder. And for most of you, that is fine. But I use a lot of plugins. I've showed this in other tutorials, but to keep things tidy, I've created my own folder elsewhere specifically for Lightroom Classic plugin storage. So I'm going to move this guy into here. If you've set things up like me, then move this Lego cube, the plugin, into your additional plugins folder before proceeding. All that matters here is that you know exactly where this plugin lived inside of your machine. Now, I'm going to return to Lightroom Classic. Although the plugin is inside my computer, Lightroom has no way of knowing right now where it is. So I need to go to the File menu, 
and then down to the plugin manager option. At this point, what you see on the left side of this dialog is probably going to look different from what you see on my screen. So I bet that your list here on the left will be much shorter. The important part though is this add button down here at the very bottom. We need to tap on the add button and then we need to guide the dialog that appears to wherever you're keeping that smart collection sync plugin. So find that plugin and then hit add. The next step in the setup process is a strange one. We need to scroll all the way down to the bottom of this dialog and then hit this reload plugin button, the one that lives in the bottom plugin authors tools box before anything interesting will happen. Next, we can scroll back up to the top of this dialog to set things up. Before I explain any of the settings in here though, I'm gonna register this plugin. All of Jeffrey Friedel's plugins, like this one, are donationware. If you like what his plugins do, and if you wanna keep them fully functional, then you need to click on this button and send the man a donation via PayPal. You can send him any amount that you like. For something this awesome, I'm gonna send him 20 bucks, but he will gladly accept anything from a penny on up for his hard work. If you're not ready to send in a donation at this point, that's fine. You can always come back to this registration step later. I'm gonna click on the register here button, and then I'll pause this video until I've been over to PayPal and back. We're back, and now this plugin has been registered. So here's how things work. Since Lightroom Classic cannot sync smart collections with Lightroom Mobile, Jeffrey has designed a clever workaround into this plugin. First, we need to tell this plugin which smart collections we want it to monitor. Now there are two ways that you can do this. You can either tell this plugin to monitor every smart collection that has a certain string of characters at the end of its name, or you can tell it to watch a particular collection set. I'll show you both methods in this tutorial, but let's start with the easier, although less elegant one first. By default, this plugin is gonna look for any smart collection that has the less than, exclamation mark, greater than characters at the end of its name. For now, I'm gonna leave all the other options in here alone and just hit the done button. Next, I'm gonna right click on that five star images smart collection that I made a minute ago and choose rename. If you don't already have a smart collection that you wanna use at this point, then feel free to create one. The essential part though, is that I need to add these characters, less than, exclamation mark, greater than, to the end of my smart collection's name so the plugin will keep track of what's going on here. Now, I need to start up the plugin so that it knows that this smart collection exists. To do that, I'm gonna go up to the file menu and then down to plugin extras. In here, I'm gonna click on the sync now choice beneath the words JF, Smart Collection Sync in light gray. You might see a little flash on the progress bar, and in a second, a new drag and drop style collection should appear right next to your five star smart collection. See this one right here? When I told the plugin to run, it made this regular collection for me. And if I click back and forth between these two, you can see that it automatically populated the new one with the same photos that are in the five-star smart collection that we made a second ago. Jeffrey Friedel is calling this new drag and drop collection a syncable companion, and this is slick. This is really clever because now all I have to do is click here to enable syncing with Lightroom Mobile for this drag and drop collection. But wait, there's more. Let me show you how clever this really is. I'm gonna click back on the five-star smart collection. Now, I'm gonna remove one of these images from this grouping by taking away its five-star rating. I'll pick this one here, and I'll demote its quality down to four stars by pressing the number four on my keyboard. As soon as I do that, and it disappears from the smart collection. If you look carefully over here though, you'll see that although there are only nine images in the five-star smart collection, there are still 10 photos in its regular syncable companion. So now I'm gonna invoke the smart sync command again by going file, plugin extras, sync now a second time. Bam, see how the plugin updates the syncable companion for me? 
What's so cool here is that each time the plugin runs, it makes the images that are in the drag and drop version match up perfectly with the images that are inside of the smart collection. Let me hop over to my iPad just to prove that this is working. I'm going to tap here to launch the Lightroom CC for iPad app. As soon as the app opens, it will start syncing and almost immediately my new five star album will appear. Let me click here on the album's thumbnail to show you that these are the same images, the ones from that five star collection that we created in Lightroom Classic a minute ago. That was easy and a total success. So now let me switch back over to my desktop and show you two additional tricks. Now that you've seen what this wonderful Smart Collections plugin can do for us, let me show you a couple of additional features. First, let's change the way that these collections are arranged. Right now, I have these two collections, the Smart Collection that looks for five-star images and its syncable companion sitting side by side out here in my collections panel. This setup works fine, but it's not as neat and tidy as I like. Let me undo things here, and then I'll show you an alternative. To start with, I'm gonna drag our five-star smart collection into this set here, my Lightroom Mobile Albums, since this is where I keep all of the other collections that I'm currently syncing with my mobile devices. Next, I'm gonna right-click on my five-star smart collection and rename it. In this case, I'm gonna take that less than exclamation mark greater than string away so that the plugin will ignore it for a few minutes. Next, I'm gonna click here to stop its syncable companion from interacting with Lightroom for Mobile anymore. And then I'm gonna completely delete this collection. Keep things tidy this time. I'm gonna go back to the plugin manager, that's file, plugin manager, and then I'm gonna come down to this section, the one that says where to place syncable companion collections. This time, I'm gonna click on this within option, and then I'm gonna click this little create new collection set button. I'm gonna call this one syncable companions, and then I'm gonna hit okay. Next, I'm gonna hit this tiny little button here that says send this set to the bottom of the list. You can give this new collection set whatever name you want. Its name doesn't matter, but what we're doing here is designating a specific collection set that will store all of the syncable companions that this plugin will create for us. Next, I'm gonna come up here and enable this recursively include collections within marked sets option. Now, I'm going to hit done to close this dialog. If you look carefully at the collections panel right now, you can see that the plugin just created a new collection set for us, the Syncable Companions collection set, and it forced it to go to the very bottom of this list. If I click the little triangle here though, then you can see that this collection set is currently empty. Well, let's fix that. To make things work for us again, we need to do two easy things. First, I need to right click here on the name of my LR Mobile Albums collection set and choose rename. All that I need to do here is to add that less than exclamation mark greater than symbol marking onto the end of this collection set's name. Adding this marking tells the plugin that I want it to create companions for me just like we had a minute ago. Let me prove this and take things even further. I'm gonna click on the little plus here and create another smart collection. I'm gonna call this one green labeled photos. And then I'm gonna make sure that it lives inside of the LR Mobile Albums collection set. For the rules here, I'm gonna switch this to say label color is green. I'll hit save and in no time, Lightroom has gathered up 480 some photos for me. Watch what happens down here in the syncable companions collection set this time when I activate the plugin again. To do that, I'm gonna go File, Plugin Extras, Sync Now one more time. Bam! See how the plugin created syncable companions for every smart collection that lives inside of the set marked with our less than exclamation mark greater than symbol? 
That's awesome because now all I have to do is to click here on the enable sync with Lightroom mobile switch for each of these collections. And just like that, all of these images are headed over to my iPad. Okay, one more trick. A few minutes ago, I showed you how this plugin tries to keep the files that are in the smart collection that we created and the files that are in its syncable companion the same. Remember when I demoted an image and then I had to manually invoke that file plugin extra sync command to keep things uniform? Let me do this again, just so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm gonna come in here to the five star smart collection and demote another one of these images. I'll pick this one here and I'll change its star rating from five to four, just like I did last time. As soon as I do that, it gets removed from the smart collection again, but it will not be removed from its syncable companion until I run that file plugin extras command again. This is not a big deal, but it turns out that there's a way to automate this process instead. To do this, I'm gonna go back into the plugin manager one last time. In the plugin manager, I'm gonna scroll down to this automatic sync area. Once I enable this one, then every five minutes, this plugin will automatically run that sync command for me. I'm going to hit done to close up this box. Then I'm gonna pause the video for five minutes. While things are paused, I promise that I'm not gonna push any other buttons or do any other tricks. Okay, while we were gone, the plugin ran itself, and now my syncable collections have been updated. Let me prove this. First, if I jump back and forth between the five-star smart collection and its companion, you can see that they are indeed one and the same. And finally, let me switch back over to my iPad once more. On the iPad, I'm gonna launch the Lightroom CC app again. The first thing that I wanna point out is that both of our new albums are here. See that five-star album and the green label album down there at the bottom of the list? And finally, if I click on the five-star album, then we're looking at the same eight images that we saw just a second ago in Lightroom Classic. And that makes this lesson a complete success. I wanna point out one very important thing before I sign off. Throughout this tutorial, I've been using the simple one-way sync style within Jeffrey Friedel's plugin only. In this context, one-way sync means that the changes that I make to my images within Lightroom Classic, changes like adding or removing that star rating, are always sent over to Lightroom for mobile and that no changes to these attributes are brought back. I'm using this option because I think it's much cleaner and easier to understand. There is a choice in the plugin setup screen for a more complex two-way sync. With two-way syncing, changes to your image's star rating that you make on the mobile device are read back into your Lightroom Classic catalog and then into your smart collections, but I think that gets messy. I urge you to avoid that option, but it is in there if you want to try it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in our next tutorial.